This is the Rattlesnake, a 3D printed airsoft blast mine. The design of the Rattlesnake is modular, which allows for quick and easy replacement of broken or worn out parts. The Rattlesnake consists of three 3D printed parts, the chassis, the trigger plate and the shell clip. You'll need a length of M4 threaded rod with some M4 matching lock nuts, an M5 by 20mm bolt for the firing pin and some 15mm wood screws with a countersunk head. And when fully assembled, the rattlesnake is approximately 13 centimeters long, 13 centimeters wide, and when unloaded, 7 centimeters tall. The explosive charge in the mine is provided by a 40 millimeter airsoft grenade launcher shell, and chances are you might already have one of these. The rattlesnake is designed to work with most 40 millimeter shells. However, I recommend you use the S Thunder Shocker grenades. These grenades have one large singular barrel, which is covered up by a rubber bung whenever you've loaded it. And the open front airsoft grenades, like the S Thunder Shocker, tend to be extremely loud. In fact, the S Thunder Shocker shell is arguably one of the loudest. Now when I've used this mine I filled it up with flour rather than pellets that way you get a nice mushroom cloud effect to create a bigger explosion. You could use pellets however this mine is more designed to make a loud bang than disperse pellets. It's going to be quite a directional blast out of the exhaust of the mine so I recommend you just focus on making a really loud bang with a big puff of dust. To use the rattlesnake first of all like any other airsoft mine you've got to find a suitable location to use it. Ideally somewhere where you're going to get a lot of enemy traffic which can be funneled towards the mine. You want to find an area where there is going to be little to no friendly martial or dead player activity easier said than done no now you don't have to bury the rattlesnake to use it ideally i just want to be able to drop it in some long grass or leaf litter and hide it that way if you do bury it make sure you keep the soil and any sort of obstructions out of the top of the chassis and also make sure you keep the exhaust as clear as possible otherwise it will stifle the blast now there is no safety pin on this mine because the safety is whether or not you put the grenade in and once you're happy with the mine placement and the mine is in situ you want to snap the shell into the shell clip and then lower the lid gently don't let the lid slam shut because i'm sure you can guess what would happen and now the rattlesnake is armed and waiting for its prey the trigger plate covers the majority of the top of the mine so you've got a nice big area of contact and once this is pushed down i'm sure you can imagine what happens And if you're feeling really cheeky and you can get over to your mine once it's detonated, you can reload it in-game by pulling out the spent shell, chucking in a fresh one, shutting it up gently, covering it back up and it's ready to go again. If you need to disarm the mine because it hasn't been detonated in the game, just lift the lid gently and remove the live shell like so. And just like with anything in Airsoft, presume it's live and loaded until proven otherwise. To transport the mine, I'm going to use my double claymore bag which has two claymore pouches and it turns out the rattlesnake fits more or less perfectly into that pouch so I should be able to carry two of them on me and if I carry the gas grenades in my attack vest that will keep them separate. Now I printed this mine on a basic ender 3 and as long as your print bed's at least 13 by 13 centimeters you should be able to print this. Now I printed it in black PLA which is not exactly the best color for this sort of thing because it's going to have a really defined outline. What I'm going to do with it is I'm going to cut out some DPM woodland pattern and I'm going to glue it on and try and camo it up. If you do end up burying this mine make sure you lightly cover the top of it in foliage leaf litter, camo netting or grass or whatever you want to do. Don't put anything too heavy on it because the pressure plate is very sensitive. If you want to print your own rattlesnake blast mine then please make sure you check out the link in the description to my cults page. There's also a lot more written information on the page about it and if you have any further questions please make sure you leave them in the comments. But if this isn't unconventional enough for you then make sure you check out this 3D printed airsoft ballistic knife.